Cameras project, we use the Century Master Studio camera, which you see here. The camera is just like any other camera, it has a lens, and it has a place where you put the film on the back, but that's where the similarity ends with modern cameras. These are called standards and the bellows that we use for focusing. And then in just a minute, we'll show you the back of the camera where the film gets loaded and the picture is taken. The film is loaded into the back of the camera, but first we have to compose the image on the ground glass. And you'd see me with a big uh, dark cloth over my head like you see in all the old movies and photographs so that I could actually see that image. Then after that image is composed, you can see that this back opens up and the piece of film is slid into the camera so we can take the picture. Also, all the controls are on the back of the camera for the photographer, such as focusing the camera and being able to turn the back at various angles to take the picture appropriately. Now, because the camera wasn't portable, the photographer had to be able to move the camera. So on this camera, you see the controls for raising and lowering it, and also on the back here for tilting the camera to the correct angle. Now, you might ask why anyone would go through all this trouble to use a 200-pound camera, and the reason is simple. The images are spectacular and can't be duplicated with any modern digital camera. So the work is worth it when you see the end result.